Yo, what up, guys? It's your boy Foops. Uh, bringing you another video. Uh, so basically, what I'm gonna be talking about is CPU unparking, unparking your cores, resulting in better performance in your CPU and better FPS in every game. Uh, so this uh, here's a pro program called Process Lasso, and basically it monitors everything. You can uh, change your if you go to options, external tools, uh, or, uh, tweak core parking. And in here, you can change it from high performance or bit two size performance. Um, bit two size performance is basically unparking your cores. So instead of having one core working, instead of having one core idle, all your cores are working. See, you see the graph right here. All your CPU cores are working, except for having some idle. Make sure you. Uh, I'll leave the links in the description for Process Lasso. I'm gonna leave after this video. I'm gonna put two stats up. Stats of without core unparking and with core unparking. Um, so yeah, make sure you guys check the description if you guys want this program. Make sure your computer's clean. This will raise your temps. It won't raise your temps by a lot, like overclocking, but it will raise your temps a little bit, probably by like four degrees, five degrees. So just clean your PC out. You should clean it anyway. I clean mine like every five months or three months or so, depends. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope it helps you guys in CS:GO getting more FPS or any game getting more FPS. See ya. Yo guys, this is Foops. Uh, well, this might not show the best results for unparking your cores um, on this regular bot aim map, but you'll still be able to see the FPS boost when I upload this video. So, just make sure you look at the FPS when I upload the benchmarks uh, through Fraps, and I'll probably post that right after I'm done talking in this right bit segment right here. So yeah, I'm going to do this one time on part cores and one time with my part cores and just look at the min, max, and average FPS and you guys are about to tell which is better. Just started the benchmark. This is going to be the version with the part cores. So, um, yeah. So you guys can look at the min, max, average now when I'm uploading this video. And I'm going to upload the benchmarks after this so you guys can see the min, max, average. Now just to let everybody know, this is like a three minute round. It's just a bot warm up on aim map. Uh, all those settings, just 1080p quality. It shouldn't really matter about the settings. It should more matter about the FPS increase and the difference between parked and unparked cores. Um, so, yeah, hope you guys enjoy this video I'm doing for you guys. And hopefully, you guys get more FPS by unparking your cores. Just make sure your computer's clean and make sure you don't get high temps already. Because if you get high temps right now, you might want to clean your PC. And so, yeah, if you, wanna, you guys want to check your CPU temp, download Core Temp and make sure if you have an AMD, make sure it's below. I think 70 is or 60 is the recommended temp for my my processor AMD FX 8120. But yeah, see ya. Check out the benchmarks after this. See the difference. Hey guys, it's Foops back again, showing the stats for my benchmarks using Fraps on CS:GO versus unparked cores and parked cores. So with parked cores, average was 189 FPS, minimum was 114, and max was 304. The map was aim underscore map. Unparked cores, 206 average. I mean, average FPS is 206. Yep. Minimum is 140, and max is 331. As you can see, you get way more FPS. Well, not way more FPS, but more FPS with unparked cores. Uh, my PC specs are right there: 8120, a VGA GTX 760. I'll leave all the links to everything down below. The links to uh, the program to do it and everything. Here's, if you guys don't believe me, here's the actual thing that I got from Fraps right here. This is the Fraps log text right here. This is what showed me the stats right here for what I got. Uh, the un the unpart cores got a little bit more frames than this one, but I they're both with three minute recordings of me on the aim map against like ten bots max on the other side is my uh, bot execute practice. So I can warm up. Um uh, hope you guys enjoy these stats. Hope you guys enjoy this little proof that I have here. Uh you might it might vary in FPS depending on depending on map. Like I don't know, you might get better FPS with part core on like certain maps than with unpart cores. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And also, if I didn't mention before, this works the best with if you have a AMD processor. I don't know, I don't have an Intel processor, but I noticed that I've only had AMD processors, and they're not the best top of the line. But AMD processors are still good for the value that they are for how much they cost. So yeah, if you guys have AMD processor, try this out. And hope you guys get more FPS in Counter-Strike Global Offensive or any game you play, you should get more FPS. See ya.